been sleeping? Good morning, y'all. The rain has returned and so has winter. It turned into winter time, like overnight or something. <laughs> Manly's getting his jacket. We stepped out there on the porch for a minute just to look at the rain and mm -mm. You definitely need to bundle up out there this morning, right? Yeah. Oh, you putting a hat on and everything? Yeah. You put your arm, you're putting it on upside down. No. <laughs> That's crazy. No. That was... <laughs> now what? Uh, I cooked you more. <laughs> So all the rest of the kids are finishing up, making up their beds and getting ready for school. I already put Jonah and Aldra's seat workout for the day. They'll bring their laptops and everything in here when they finish getting ready. But they've been wanting to do their schoolwork at the counter because we got these stools about, I guess it's been about a week ago now. We haven't had any stools there for close to two years, maybe a year and a half at least. It's been a while since we got rid of those last stools we had. We got a really good deal on some. It was a Black Friday sale years and years ago. And they were great stools, but they started falling apart after so long because, you know, we used them every single day. And so when all of those were done, I mean, they were like seriously just falling apart. We just never got any more. I couldn't really find any that I liked or any at a good deal. But last week, Titus went to this factory outlet, furniture factory outlet store to get two new mattresses for a couple of the kids' beds. They needed new mattresses. So he went to get two twin mattresses from there and we've been seeing on their sign that they had a sale going on but it's a furniture factory outlet store so there's always a sale you know they're always on sale but this was a big one because they're I don't really know if they're going out of business or if they're they moved like six hours away I think or something like that they're just closing this one down and trying to get rid of everything so everything in the store was on an extreme sale so he brings the mattresses home and this over here and I actually wanted this whenever we got our other furniture so the the couch and love seat, all the furniture that we have right now, we got that from that factory, furniture factory outlet store too. And so I wanted this when we got that, but at that time, this went with a set and they didn't sell things separately. Like you had to buy the whole set, but it matches with my side tables and coffee table and all that really good. Like it's almost identical to them. It's not the exact brand, but you know, it matches really good with them. But yeah, back then they wouldn't sell it separately. You had to buy the set and I can't remember what this came with. I think like a really big, maybe like something to put your dishes in or something. I don't know. It was a couple of other things, but anyway, now they were selling stuff separately because they're just trying to get rid of everything so then when he told me about the sale I was like do they have any stools up there so we went back to look real quick and they did they had this set of stools and one other set but the deal with this was it came with a little bar table because they're bar stools so they came with the table and that they wouldn't separate because I guess the man knew he wouldn't be able to sell the little bar table thing without stools because you know that's what it's for so we put this over here and I set it up as the coffee station pay no attention to the sock under there I'm not sure why that's there but yeah, at first I didn't know what I was going to do with this exactly, and I'm still, you know, I'm going to leave it here for the holidays and all because it'll be really fun to set up the hot cocoa bar over there, but after that, I don't know. She said that a lot of people put it behind their couch, but I don't know. I'm sure, Yeah, y'all can tell. It's taller than our couch, so we'll see what we do with that after the holidays. For now, we're going to be turning it into the hot cocoa bar. So when I get everybody started with their schoolwork, I'm going to work on the Thanksgiving menu. It's pretty much the same things we make every year. I think we're going to try to smoke the turkey this year, though, y'all. What's your favorite thing for Thanksgiving? A blueberry went upstairs. A blueberry went upstairs? Yeah. Oh, A my thing was big and forked. Oh. Four feet tall, a four foot tall blueberry just went up those stairs. I'm afraid to go up there. Okay, looking for the blueberry. Oh, that's the blueberry.
Okay, the Thanksgiving menu is done. I'm pretty sure this is everything for appetizers. We're gonna have sausage balls, and I just put tomato and basil here. Y'all know those little toothpicks that we make with a grape tomato, a basil leaf, and some little, we usually use mozzarella cheese, I think. Everybody loves those things, even the kids love those. <laughs> Then I'm gonna do a cheese and cracker tray. And I put rolls on appetizers, but really, you know, it could probably go with sides, but I'm either gonna make my homemade yeast rolls or I might try to make a brown bread roll, like those Sara Lee ones that we got from the store, or I might just buy some of those Sara Lee ones from the store. I haven't decided yet, but we have rolls there. And then drinks, I have sweet tea, punch, and eggnog. I made a Thanksgiving punch last year, but I think I'm gonna try a new one this year. And then of course we're gonna have a turkey. Like I said, we're gonna try smoked turkey this year. And I'm just gonna get a small ham because a couple of the kids, everybody likes turkey, but a couple of the kids really like ham better than turkey. So I'm just gonna do a small one. And now for the sides, as you can see, this is the most exciting part of Thanksgiving. I mean, I love the turkey, I love ham and all that, but the sides, that's what I love the most. So we have cornbread dressing mashed potatoes and gravy, green bean casserole, cream corn, macaroni and cheese. I'm not sure if I'll do the oven baked or slow cooker. Uh, then we have cranberry sauce, sweet potato casserole, and the new things that I'm gonna try are some cranberry sweet carrots. So they're gonna be kinda like the Cracker Barrel copycat carrots that we make, but a little bit different. We're gonna put a Thanksgiving twist on them and a broccoli rice casserole. I've made broccoli rice casseroles before, but this is a new recipe. And then for desserts, I have pies. I'm pretty sure we'll do the maple walnut cream pie, a peanut butter pie, the pecan pie, and sweet potato pie. We'll probably bring all those out on Thanksgiving. We made the pies yesterday, so if y'all missed the pie day video, I'll link it down below. And then Cece wants to make some cookies and I'm gonna make an Italian cream cake. So there will of course be leftovers for days. I usually count on the Thanksgiving meal last in three days, like the day of Thanksgiving, then the day after, and then the day after that. And this year, I'm gonna make some of the sides ahead of time, so that's gonna be coming up soon because we are now only, what, just a little over a week away from Thanksgiving. So the next step is to make the grocery list, and I'll probably work on that later tonight. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and get supper in the Instant Pot. Tonight, we're gonna make pulled pork nachos. Do y'all remember in the video when we went to the mountains, I think it was, yeah, Timberwood Grill. We ate there and we got some pulled pork nachos. They were great. So we're gonna recreate that tonight. We bought this pork shoulder like three or four weeks ago, I guess. Titus bought one and I bought one. And so we put this one in the freezer and I sat it out the night before last, I think, so it could be thawing out in the refrigerator. So now I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna do this over the sink because it's gonna leak out everywhere. But all I'm gonna do is season it with this Sweet Preacher pork rub and we're gonna put it in the Instant Pot for an hour and a half. Okay, so I got this plate because I thought it would be big enough, but this is a pretty big pork shoulder here. So we're having the pulled pork nachos plus tacos. I have soft shell or hard shell. Thank you, Jonah. Thank you very much. He got me another little mat here. I can put this on. He's working on his drawings this afternoon. Giant squid? Yeah. And the shark is about to eat the giant squid? Yeah. So these are my pieces? Yeah. So whoever gets the snowman first is the winner? Yeah. Okay. We need a six and Cece needs a six. This is getting close. Whoever rolls the first six is the winner. These little games are fun. Sissy has the snowman one. Jonah has this four in a row one. We got them from Walmart. They're $2.98. They had, I think, four or five different kinds. All right, just 10 minutes left over here. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting everything else ready. We're gonna slice a tomato, green bell pepper, and a red onion.
Sissy's getting it. Are you on cheese duty? Yeah. Cheese might be in danger over there with you. What do you think? Um, it's nice and make a big one. Yeah. We have tortilla chips for those who want nachos. Crunchy taco shells and soft shells. Now the way they fix the nachos at the Timberwood Grill is they used sour cream, barbecue sauce, and they had tomatoes, bell pepper, red onion, and they had peppers. I'm trying to think what else. Oh yeah, some cheese. It looked like there was Swiss cheese on those. I can't remember when we were there if that was Swiss cheese, but when I look back on the video, it totally looks like Swiss cheese. I mean, it really does. So I got some Swiss cheese. Okay, so we've got the tortilla chips on there, the Swiss cheese. I just put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds to melt it. Now we're going to put on the pulled pork. And me and Titus will probably share this plate because this is going to be a lot. But I just want to show y'all how they do it at the restaurant. Now the one that they bring out is even bigger than this. It's like really, really big. Now some shredded cheddar on the top. And the tomatoes, peppers, and onions. The kids are already going for tacos except Sissy. She picked nachos. Okay, now these peppers. Let me get a fork. Now the barbecue sauce and the sour cream. Then you just sprinkle a little parsley or cilantro. That's it. Let's see if it tastes like the ones at Timberwood Grill. Yep. I will tell y'all, this is some good stuff right here. Does it taste like theirs? Wow, that is good.